Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've got a New York Post article here talking about Gen Z millennial women celebrate themselves with success showers. Life's not just marriage and motherhood. What? Uh, I, I have not read this. I don't know what it's about. But success showers sounds really dumb. Retarded <laughs> is what it sounds like to me. Uh, okay, so Morgan Prouse, a public relations executive in film, was on Cloud9 after recently earning a huge promotion on the job. Well, hey, congratulations. Cool. But there was no shower of, shower of praise for the go-getter Gothamite. I don't know what the fuck that means. So she gave herself one. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Look at this. It says success shower right there in the park. Wow. Wow. You know, I'm going to steal a little line from Bill Burr and say that women just continually pat themselves on the back for every little thing in their life. Oh, my God. Imagine if a guy was doing this. I'm giving myself a success shower. What kind of stupid... Oh, my God. This is this is childlike behavior. This is childish. This is like a kid thing. This is like a participation trophy kind of retarded shit. Prouse Wright and her pals applaud each other's accomplishments with annual success shower parties. It's a party similar to a bridal shower or a baby shower, but it celebrates the personal and professional successes that my friends and I have accomplished. Prouse, 28, explained, The wall! The wall! The wall! No one on earth can make it fall! Bam! Look at that. Yeah, she's, she's, she's there, man. She's there. And this is, this is sad, dude. This... Uh, Women have to give themselves an excuse like, yeah, you should be celebrating your marriage. You should be celebrating a, a baby coming in. You're celebrating a job promotion like that's going to give you any kind of satisfaction when you're 75 on your deathbed and you have no kids, no one looking after you. Oh, man, this is just like filling the void type of shit. Oh, this is sad. Uh, I had a success shower, Prowse 28, a downtowner told the Post. It's a party similar to a bridal. Okay, uh, I'd already said that. The feet-focused feti, I don't, I don't know what that word is, rooted in female empowerment. Oh, God. See, working women in the Big Apple and beyond being spotlighted for life achievements outside of marriage and motherhood. Whatever you got to do to cope, I guess. And while becoming a bride or a mommy are indeed noteworthy wins, yeah, actual, factual wins, they're certainly not the only gains a gal has to gush over. Yeah, actually, compared to this, though, as fewer Gen Zs and millennial, millennials are prioritizing tying the knot or welcoming tots, owing to the slime-laden dating pool and the high cost of child-rearing, Dynamo Divas nationwide are instead hustling for big titles and paychecks. This is, this is just, oh man. This is so fucking sad, you guys. This is, this is beyond cringe worthy. Oh my God. And listen to all the positive words they're using. Look, we got to really read in between the lines, so, so to speak here. This is glorifying not being a mother not being married, not being an actual feminine female woman. Oh, they're making it sound like it's so glitzy and glamorous and so great. It's just so amazing, you guys. This just screams loneliness to me. Man, uh, looks like there was a tweet here. It's the best day of the year. It's the third annual success shower bunch of emojis every year we gather our friends and celebrate their successes success is subjective and we champion whatever it is you are proud of we play games have a picnic and give them presentation what 
it's a great reminder how life, how wonderful life is and how there are all sorts of moments and milestones to acknowledge and celebrate. More emojis. I have game templates avail if um, available if anyone is interested who wants to, yeah, 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 okay. Oh man, a recent Pew research study found that young women earn as much or more than their male co-workers in 22 metropolitan cities across the country. And then they wonder why they can't get good, good, in quotes, men. Because you can't, by your nature, date anyone making less than you that have any kind of status less than you because you're all boss babes including new york city washington dc and la per u.s census bureau data still their workplace triumphs rarely warrant any festive fanfare okay kelly girardi i think that's how you say it a married mom and astronaut for the International Institute for a Astronautical Scientists, Sciences says her quote-unquote career showers remedy that wrong. I have a lot of supportive women in my family, Girardi 35 from Jupiter, Florida, tells the Post. We've always had a celebrate all the things approach to important life milestones. Okay, I mean, I guess. Cool, if that makes you feel good. But see, you're a mom, though. And you're like an astronaut, so that's that's pretty huge achievement. Not a, not a lot of humans have ever been astronauts or in this space, and having a kid is a pretty big thing. In honor of her upcoming 2026 space flight, she's one of the first 100 women in history to fly to space, and it's the second trip in the payload specialist's otherworldly career. Girardi's mother, Marion, hosted a space shower brunch this July. See, I think that would be fine. A space shower? Fuck yeah. How many humans have been in space? Very, very, very small amount. So that's actually kind of a big deal. Um, anyway, my favorite part was heartfelt toast, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Um, Amy Chan, 42. <laughs> we know she's just going to have amazing things to say. An author and relationship guru from Vancouver agrees. Oh, God. Oh. A 42-year-old, I'm guessing single, uh, dating advice person, da uh, a dating expert. Why do we only consider having a baby or getting married as significant enough reasons to celebrate a woman when there's so much more that makes up a woman's identity? Because it's actually important. It's actually the thing that's going to serve her and be the best thing in her life until the day she dies. That's why it's important. Marriage is a huge commitment with supposedly with someone that you care about that's going to be there for you until the day you die or until that person dies. And your children are literally half of you. They are your legacy. They are going to continue you and your family for as long as humanly possible until the end of days, supposedly. So that's bigger. That's going to be more meaningful, especially when you're 75, 80 years old, than a promotion. Nobody's going to give a fuck about what title you had. That's not going to matter to anybody. I've attended many showers and spent a lot of money on gifts for these events, which is stupid. But since I'm child free, oh, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Did I call it? Did I call it? I swear I did not read this beforehand. I've never been on the receiving end of such a celebration. Yeah. Well, again, if that's what you got to do with your lonely life, childless, <laughs> manless life. Okay, rich independent woman, look at that on the cake. Oh my God, this is pathetic. This is fucking pathetic. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Anyway, I'm not going to read anymore. This is, this is sad. Look at this cake. This is the saddest cake I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> 
rich independent woman, no eggs. You don't have any eggs. <laughs> wow. That's sad, dude. That's to me, that is beyond sad. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. <laughs> Yeah, please leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Take care of, take care of yourselves, guys. Oh, please take care of yourselves. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.